Looks like some sort of King Kong. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf. And I am at Old Thrifty Pants. Thrift Giant, baby. I'm about to head in there and see what kind of goodies they got. I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed and pray that those vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. They actually had a big Labor Day sale on Monday. Everything was 50% off. Pretty sure everything got wiped off the shelves. I wasn't here for it, but I can only imagine. So hopefully by now Wednesday, they've done a little restock. So let's see what we can find. Here's a Grover little play set. Oh, we got some sort of mechanical T-Rex down there. Let's go check him out. Oh yeah, check out this dude. He's a mech. That's pretty cool. All right, my friends, we are here. We are at the Goody Wheel. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Hopefully you got some vintage goodness on your shelves. All right, guys, let's go in and see what we can pull out of here. All right, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Any goodies? Hmm, I'm not seeing anything, guys. I'm not seeing anything at all. All right, y'all. Busted. So let's go hit up Grace Bridge. Uh, and then when we're done at Grace Bridge resale, We'll finish up our adventure over at Craptastic Sam's. Let's see what they got in here. All right, let's see, what do we got? Oh yeah, we saw this dude the other day. Got some sort of little train set here. Oh, it looks like it's missing some pieces. So, all right, got a Mickey bicycle helmet, Daisy Duck, we got Elmo. And what's this thing? Was what it like some sort of phone or something? I don't know. It's got like a phone dial on it. Looks like a cowbell. All right, guys. Another big bust on the books. Well, our last and final hope of the day is Craptastic Sam's. So let's head that way and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here. We are at Craptastic Sam's final destination of the day. So we're gonna head in here. We're gonna check this glass case. We're gonna check the shelves, rummage through some baggies, and I'm hoping we pull out a nice, sweet vintage score. Vintage 70s, vintage 80s, vintage 90s. That's the name of the game. Let's see what we can find. Let's see, we got a army helmet we saw that here last time then there's this what do we got down here oh stormtrooper design a vinyl stormtrooper oh and we've got some baggies some marbles pumpkin master pumpkin carving kit yeah nothing really i want all right, let's go check these shelves and see if we can find something over here. All right, what do we got? A little mini piano, we have batteries. Oh yeah, that looks like, I saw this here yesterday. It could be vintage, I don't know. I wasn't able to see like a year on it anywhere, but nothing I'm really interested in though. Oh yeah, here's that Raphael. Actually, we saw Donatello here yesterday. Here's Raphael. Oh, check this dude out. Oh, you know what? I actually have this at the house already. It's cool. It makes all kinds of sounds and stuff. Ooh, see that? I just popped open the canopy. And here's that beat Batman. <laughs> it's got all kinds of paint wear on him. Oh, look at this bad boy down here. That's cool. It looks like it's made out of metal, but it's not. It's plastic. It's pretty cool, though. All right. Some sort of Superman vehicle. What's this? Memory match game. 
All right, well, there's nothing on these shelves for us, so let's go rummage through some bags. And what do we got here? We got some Bass Pro Shop action figures. Looks like some sort of King Kong. Oh, he's actually kind of, I think he's kind of rubbery. What do you want for that? Yeah, I think that's King Kong. All right. Well, let's grab this bag. That's cool. The, the King Kong sold me. But there's some Bass Pro Shop action figures in there, too. And what do we got here? Nothing. We got some Hot Wheels or Matchbox here. All right, what do we got in here? Hmm. Looks like maybe some Transformers. Definitely some sort of action figure like a bear or something and then I don't know what this is maybe a McDonald's toy Peppa Pig Pez dispenser there's a green lantern Mario Kart yeah just not enough to make me want to get it all right let's look here what do we got we got the X-Files I think that's the movie oh there's a Tron oh that is cool <laughs> That is super cool. All right, we're gonna get this. And here's a Jurassic Park. That's a nice cover. All right, let's grab that. Batman Forever, The Shadow, Goldeneye, Master of the World. John Belushi, the best of John Belushi. Miss Congeniality. Okay, so we got those. What else do we got? Hang them high. Here's a golden book. Eraser. All right, well, we'll definitely grab these. Hey, check this out. Uh, that looks old. It's kind of cracked and stuff here on the side. What year is this? 1998. Oh, wow. Usually, uh, a lot of times, these older Halloween items can be worth a little bit of money. They only want a buck 91 for it. I might grab this. All right, y'all. I got my haul. Let's head to the car. It's not that far. It's time for show and tell. It's time for show and tell. <laughs> it's time for show and tell, boys and girls. I'll show you what I picked up. All right, first up, we got this jack-o'-lantern. It lights up. It's made by the Magic Paper Company from 1998. And it's all gonna depend on whether or not this thing actually works. I'll have to get home and put some batteries in it. But if it does work, this thing recently sold for $20 and I got it for $1.91. Well, with tax, it was like $207. So being that Halloween is just around the corner, I might be able to flip this guy pretty quick. That'd be a nice little, uh, a nice scored little extra kiggity cash in my pocket. So yes, yeah, so we got this guy and I also picked up that bag of toys. Let me show you what I got inside of it. I also got these figures. So it turns out these King Kongs are actually bendables. So I'll pick one up here in a second and show you. So I got those, I got the, uh, the twins over here, the Bass Pro Shop twins. We got this white tail deer, but let me grab this guy right here. So, here he is, you can see he's got like these little uh, air breathing holes in his feet and his legs, you know, around his ankles, his shoulders and stuff like that. That uh, That's what allows him to like kind of bend. So um, yeah, you can uh, bend his arms. I, you know, he's, he's a little stiff, I'll give him that. He's a little stiff, but you can like bend his arms and his legs and all that stuff like that. But man, pretty cool. We got uh, two Kongs, I thought there was only 
thought there was only one. There's a couple more holes right there, three more holes. Um, but yeah, I thought there was just the one Kong, so I was pleasantly surprised to see that we had two Kongs. So that's awesome. And then of course, you know, these Bass Pro Shop guys, they're actually not bad. They're, uh, their joints are pretty tight, which is fantastic. I also picked up this Jurassic Park VHS tape. Man, this cover is in pretty good shape. A lot of times, you know, the ones I've seen recently have been banged up pretty good. So it's, you know, got a little wear up there in the corner and stuff like that. But overall, it'll display really nice. And, you know, I'll be able to watch me a little JP. And this right here is just plain awesome of, you know, I've been looking at VHS tapes in thrift stores for like over two years now, and I've never come across a Tron ever. So how freaking cool is this? I can't wait to watch this movie. It'll be awesome to plug it in the VHS player, put it on the big screen and enjoy a little vintage Tron. Yeah, this is awesome. The case here is a little banged up, but overall it's in pretty good condition. It's got this fold in it right here, but this will make for a great display as well. Well, hey, I hope you enjoyed watching this content as much as I enjoy making it. If you do, do me a favor, smash the like button. That helps me out. It helps my channel grow. So I would greatly appreciate that. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I got a lot more great content coming your way and over 500 videos on the channel that you can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're going to love it.